Have you ever thought about where your produce comes from? Most grocery chains receive produce from various local and national farmers. In fact, there are about 3.4 million farmers in the United States today. But of that staggering number, only 45,000 are black farmers. At The Better Buggy, we are a proud group of Atlanta-based black-owned farmers, selling produce locally and nationwide. Our easy-to-navigate online platform makes it easy for you to make a one-time purchase or to simplify your life by subscribing to our weekly produce box. Whichever frequency you choose, you can order with confidence knowing you'll receive 100% organic farm fresh produce. If you're looking for a thoughtful gift for a loved one that they'd actually find useful, be sure to pop by our online store where you can snag a gift card your recipient can use to order their own produce and t-shirts. Ready to start supporting local black owned farms and making healthier food decisions? Visit thebetterbuggy.com now to start shopping. All right, y'all, I'm not going to play a lot of this because of the nature of what's in the footage. So I just wanted to update you. Now, I didn't want to do this story right away because the first few hours, you're never going to have all of the information. You're not even going to have all the information when I'm doing the video now, but at least it's more up to date than what has come out earlier. So now they're saying at least 159 people are missing. So ladies and gentlemen, you know, I knew it had to be more people because of the time that this occurred. It would have been a lot of people in there. So when they came out with one death and first it was 50 people, then it was 100 people. I saw 90 people and now... It is up to 159 people. So, ladies and gentlemen, this came out on CNN. At least 159 missing after partial building collapse near Miami. So, what a mess. Official provide update on the condo collapsing. Wow. And it just seems like... You know, America, America. Many people said when they saw this, they immediately thought of 9-11. So did I. So did I. But, ladies and gentlemen, since they reopened the country, I have not seen nothing but a string of bad things happening. And let me tell you, before I even came on to do videos, there are locations in America quietly talking about shutting down again. Okay. And we know this media is never going to report that in a million years. They're never going to report that, you know, because they are desperately trying to hang on for dear life to something they're going to ultimately lose at the end of the day. And then you see these building collapse. You know, my question, when was the last time this building was inspected? And what was the report on the inspection? Because, I mean, it looked like this thing went through a natural implosion. And the funny part is I looked at some of the interviews before I did this video and many people said they heard a, a loud explosion before the building went down. If you remember, isn't that what a lot of people said during 9-11? They heard explosions and, you know, almost like, they set the building up to be imploded. They said the same thing during 9-11.
But that structure should not have come down like that. It shouldn't have, but it did. And, you know, like I said, the time of day this occurred, I would imagine there were a lot of people home. That's why when I heard 50, I was like, I looked at that building. It's no way it can only be 50. And I don't know if I fully believe 159. It could be way more than that. You know how funny these folks are with numbers. They have never been truthful about the numbers at all since they've been here. They, they will boldface lie on virtually every number. So it says that the building, it's called Surfside Building, it collapsed and will be held at approximately 8.15 p.m. Uh, at the media staging area located on 86th Street and Collins Avenue. Mm, mm, mm. And Florida got a lot of problems, y'all. They just do. They just do. So, wow. Over the next few days, y'all, it's certainly going to be a lot of funerals going on. It's going to be a lot of funerals behind this collapse. And I was listening to an interview of one man, and he said his apartment actually stayed intact after he heard the noise. And he said he didn't realize the building, part of the building had collapsed until he opened his door and he said the hallway was missing. And that's when he realized what had happened. Wow. I mean, this is just unbelievable. I hope, you know, if he, anybody had friends or family in there or knew someone that lived there, I hope they're okay. You know? Um, you know, they're saying you know, the typical thing, they're holding out hope that, you know, people will be rescued, but just the way that building fell is going to be a lot of fatalities, y'all. It, it ain't no point in trying to act like there's going to be a lot of survivors. There's not. They said the priority right now is search and rescue, but engineers are on the scene monitoring the building to make sure it doesn't collapse further or move or injure uh, rescuers, the mayor said. She told CNN that the rubble pile did get displaced at one point, but no one was injured. I cannot tell you the admiration and respect I have for these fine men and women. And they are eager, they are motivated to get in there, Levine Kava said, okay? So they are there to get it done. They are determined. Investigators will work to understand what happened in the collapse and review the 40-year-old certification requirements. Clearly, we have lessons to learn from this and we will apply those lessons, she said. We're focused right now on the immediate search and rescue. We can spare no effort to be sure that we can save as many lives as possible. The mayor said she is thankful for the outpouring of support they have received from different cities and are providing hotel food and counseling and other resources for the families of those impacted by the collapse. Canada said, never mind, I I'm not going to get into that. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, wow, what a nightmare for this to happen. What a nightmare. Mm, mm, mm. All I can say is, you know, if, if people survive, that's a beautiful thing, but I'm just looking at how this thing collapsed. I'm just not sure if you're going to find too many alive. But y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.
family.